Welcome everyone to day 276 of my journey to 2000 ELO. I have been out of it for a few days. I was very busy uh, traveling, flying back to the US. I was on a little bit of a vacation, um, but it was good. I needed a break because just before this, I went on like a six game losing streak. I had a really good streak of games where I actually hadn't lost a game in like 10. Um, and then I lost two games I should not have lost. I was completely winning. And then I just, I guess I just went on chest tilt and then lost like six games in a row. So, um, my expectations are not very high for today, but we're just getting back into it. Um, and then, yeah, I'll play, I think I have enough time to play yeah, a good amount of games today. And my goal is just to, uh, uh, ramp up just to like start playing a lot of chess. Whether I win or lose, um, start playing a lot of chess. Now that I'm on my computer, oh, I'm finally back on my computer, on my PC, not my shitty little Mac. It's so good. So let's jump into it. We're going to do some rapid listening to Skyrim music, of course. And let's just... Okay, so we get an 1857. From Greens? Or is it... Oh, Israel. Oh, you didn't hear me say that. I knew it wasn't. Queen's Gambit, huh? I go with the A6 line. Yeah, dude, what's happening with my mouse? Why is it lagging? This is not okay with me. There's something weird happening with the pieces. At least I'm in my comfort zone in this opening. At least. My opponent is having to think. God, that's going to drive me crazy. Why is it doing that? Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Here I can either castle or you can go c5 right away. I have been going c5 because I just like it. I think it's more aggressive. I don't care what about your bishop, bro. You can do whatever you want with that bishop. If you're trying to like open up my king side, I haven't castled yet. So good luck going for a king side attack. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can just play that. And if he doesn't do anything, I'm going to fucking take that bishop because I'm not castled yet. I But I don't know if, um, if it's, like, good. H6 probably is. But it does kind of weaken a little bit the light squares because, yeah, it's the queen's gambit. They like to, you know, go for the queen bishop battery. But this black, uh, this opening is solid for black. And I know that I'm, I know that I'm in theory. I know that this is uh, equal. I know how to follow up with it. More or less. Sometimes you, sometimes you push, sometimes you attack the knight, you bring the queen out over here. Yeah, I might just tell the bishop to go kick rocks, but that kind of helps him because he goes back to a better square. Let's bring the rook over to c8, I think. I don't think I want to take any need to he could start pushing which is a little bit annoying we go knight here decisions decisions but yeah i don't like that diagonal being taken so let's activate my rook i'm not gonna think too too long about this he could take and then Now I can bring the queen out. I think queen b6 is a decent move, but almost like queen c7, because then here takes, takes. I to move the knight and I would win the bishop. It's kind of a sneaky move. Move here, takes, takes the knight. I'm going to go for it. I think the best move will probably be queen b6. But I'm not entirely sure. Ah, that I did not see. So that that's a bummer. So if I trade the bishops off, takes, takes, we takes here, takes. We activate the rook, which is not what I wanted. 
This is going to be loose, though, if he's not careful. I could just come back. But I think I'd rather contest. Let's trade off. Let's trade off his better black bishop. Um, okay, Microsoft Teams, what are you doing on my computer? I don't want you there. Here. Or I take with the queen. Obviously, I can't take with the knight. My queen hangs. And if I go here, I don't want to activate his rook, really. So maybe I'll just take with the queen. And then there is stuff happening here down the C file. What are my opponent's moves, though? He's probably eyeing the E5 square for his knight, which is protected. But if I move my knight... I myself could line up a battery here. Now I could go here. Okay. Or I could castle. Castling looks reasonable. Hmm. Here looks kind of nasty. Let's go for this. I don't think I'm blundering anything here. He could. I need to be careful with my knight. So, like, if he takes, I'll have to take with the queen. I'm just kind of going for this pin. This bishop is loose if he's not careful. And, of course, there's this threat. So, in fact. Here, make it push, which is uncomfortable. Well, no, he can't because I take. So here, takes, takes, I'm threatening mate. I'm not sure how good that is, though. Okay, I did not see that move. I can't take here, obviously. Huh. Push, he pushes, takes, knight, oh wait, well, hold on, takes, knight takes, takes, knight takes, knight comes back, wait a second, hold on, don't I still have this, here takes, takes, or he can move the knight, which would probably be a better move, but where, you know, was he going to like, no, he, here, takes, takes, he pushes, we'll just, I don't know. What are we doing on time? Time is even, so I'm going to take a second to calculate, because this is a very important moment, I think. He's kind of threatening e5, but not really. So if I were to go here, he goes e5. I could go knight g4. How do you attack my knight? Other than just moving your own knight. Then I could take... Takes. Yeah. Or he pushes. That would be annoying. Oh, that's yeah. I can't do this because he can. He can go d five, and that that hurts. So I think I have to take d four. Knight takes, and then. I could offer a trade. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's taking. Because this I can't allow d5. Now, this looks pretty strong, to be honest. Kind of activates my rook. And it's pretty, pretty forcing, I feel like. Or I just go here. Go 
here. I'll keep the queens on the board. I am down on time, so I need to be aware of that. Uh, eventually, here's probably castle. Things will get a little bit dicey if I don't castle soon. And I'm not sure if I want to go e5 or knight e5. Probably knight e5. Because then it gives me access to this nice c4 square if I wanted it. But I have a lot of nice pressure down the c file. Like this knight cannot move. And I'm hitting his other knight on d4. So he's got to address that. Probably rook here. And then I'll castle. So I'll just calculate here. One of the rooks over to d1. Castles. This knight has no good squares to jump to, thanks to my bishop. I mean, he could go back, but that just looks kind of silly. I'd probably just bring the queen out a little there. Yeah, so let's just castle. Uh, although I'm a little bit worried about this now. If I castle here, no, I can just take, so... I hope this isn't a mistake. I swear to God, Skype. Can I like take off Skype from my fucking computer? Okay, I don't have time to man, worry about that. Skype is the stupidest application. Seriously, it's so bad. Pushing E5 doesn't work. Um. Now at this point, I'm thinking he might, could try to go here, then that gets me into, could get me into murky water, because it really weakens the light squares, so I probably need to try to find a way to trade off the light squared bishop. Um, so here I'll probably have to go h6. Uh, is my microphone working? Yeah, okay. I couldn't tell. We're... Back to even on time, and I'm just trying to find like one of my opponent's moves. He could go b4 now. That just loses a pawn, actually. I just realized. So let's just calculate this. Takes, takes, takes. Go into an endgame of pawn up. That's not too bad. Oh, wait. Takes. Queen takes, knight takes. Dude, I fucking. This board is too. Thanks, he takes, knight takes, and this is loose. So he could like take here, for example. So I could take with a the knight. Then again, he has this. Wait a second. Knight takes. Knight takes. Queen takes. That's not just a free pawn. If queen takes, that wouldn't work. Or I can take with a bishop. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Yeah, no, okay, that doesn't work. I'm not thrilled about playing this move, but I think that this gets me into... Okay, I need to play faster now. I think after queen takes... Queen takes, knight takes. Oh my god. Yeah, the board is too small. I think I need to start playing with a, a smaller chess board. Like, I can't even move the... Drawing arrows is, like, super hard right now. Uh, Okay, I can't take... That move does not look right. Now I can go over here. Yeah, this looks... Decent for old Papa. Try not to blunder here. And now I really want to go 95. Contest the D file, but I'm gonna bring the boys in. I can even try going for checkmate here. He can't push this pawn now because mate's hanging. If he goes here, I have 95. It, uh, yeah, that move doesn't look right. He's just dropping his knight. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't that just a free knight? He had a free knight, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is annoying though, because now... Is he trying to trap my queen? If I go here... 
thanks, thanks, thanks here. That's an issue. That's a big, big issue. Down to two minutes. I need to be careful here. Man, this sucks. I was winning. And now I need this fucking knight to... Or I need to get my rook over so I don't have to worry about this knight anymore. Because otherwise, I'm winning. Big time. But without... Maybe... Maybe I'll just forget about this knight and go for checkmate. Because what? Then he pushes. Check. Queen here. Check. That's going to be good for me. I'll just sack the knight. Two minutes versus three minutes, 20 seconds. There's a line from, what is the line from uh, Fight Club? Like, two minutes. Can you see all right? Here, there. All right, so he is trying to trap my... But if he goes here, I can just take. So that we're not... Let's move the rook over. Let's activate my rook. Now we're okay. Okay, we gotta play fast now. This hangs a pawn. This hangs a rook. So he's not really threatening anything with that, actually. And now I can... Now this is hanging. Now that is eventually possible. Catch up on time though. Wish so badly I could take here. What are my moves? If he does nothing, what am I doing here? I'm taking on h5 and trading the queens off. If he ever pushes here, there, there. But that gets me into like murky water again too. So if he pushes, well, I can't right now because the rook be hanging. But okay, we're even on time now. He's down to one minute fifty-five seconds. I'm down to one minute and forty seconds, and. I'm a pretty strong bullet player, so I like when we get into time trouble now. But I'm a little bit rusty. I'm out of practice, so I need to get my reflexes. This just hangs the pawn, right? Maybe he'll try to bring the rook over, but I think I'll just offer to trade queens. I'm not getting mated here. Okay, I'm going to shut my mouth and play. 95, 95, 95. I need 95 to keep this bishop totally locked out of the game. Good. He's burning the clock. That's good. This rook is useless, so I don't think that was a good move. And I'm a pawn up, so if we trade queens, we trade down to an endgame, I'm a pawn up. Okay. Here, I need this move, yeah? I can always move back if I need to. No, I can't, that would be a free. But I don't think you can attack this knight. So now, oh shit, maybe I get into trouble here. What have I done? Okay. This could be bad. We could trade a rook for two knights.
These knights are actually really annoying now. I gotta play fast. I'm down on time. I needed this move. I really need this move. Now we just gotta play fast. Jesus, I have no fucking moves. This is gonna be the clock. We're gonna get low on the clock and it'll be. Yeah. Should be okay here. Just don't blunder a huge fork or anything, but even if I do, it's a pin. Three bishop. And then uh, why is his clock going up? <laughs> There's no fucking increment. I was like looking at it, it's like two seconds, then keeps adding time. All right, well, that was a decent game. I think I definitely made some mistakes. For sure I made some mistakes, especially at the end there. But I felt like I I had the control. Like I was controlling the game, which I like. Um, let's, I'll show you guys the eval bars. So let's just do full. Oh my, never mind. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Second, do eval. I know some viewers were asking about the. Uh, I wanted to see the eval bar when I go over the game, so let's change this real quick. Whoop, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so I had uh, seventy-seven point two percent accuracy. My opponent had seventy-five point five. This is the Queen's Gambit. Uh, I like this line because this is something I learned from my coach, this A6 line, just because you get to take on C4, and then you play B4 with tempo, and then you fiendketo your bishop. So a lot of the lines, you know, like your light square bishop, if you're not careful, this light square bishop gets stuck in the pawn chain. Um, and usually your goal is to fiendketo, and B4, sorry, B5 is often how you want to do that, because just you grab space on the queen side and you get to fiendketo but this makes that happen with tempo so you get fast development and then you get the knight out and then you get to play c5 and immediately attack the center and it's like right here you're already putting i feel like you're kind of putting pressure on black it's not winning or anything but i'm oh, sorry you're putting pressure on white um and then here this can continue this this move's weird i don't know yeah that's not a good move but i didn't know how to I just ignored it what happens here is sometimes you bring the queen out to b6 and then you play to make an unequal position. You play uh, b4 and then takes takes. That's probably, I think, what was a better move. I try to go for queen c7 to go for tricks because this is lining up, you know, a battery and, and that bishop is kind of loose. So I'm guessing that, okay, so it doesn't want h6, but I didn't think this was all that great after... Bishop f4, because that bishop is better. And then c takes. Uh, knight takes. That would be a fork, so he has to take with a pawn. Knight b6. Interesting. Knight b6. That's a that's a nice looking square for that knight. Okay, anyways. So this is an equal. Black's actually got a slight tiny tiny advantage, or did there for a second. Taking was good. That was good. I saw because I was thinking of doing what here? I was thinking of what was the other move I was calculating? Oh, here. This would have been a mistake because then boom. And then this hurts. Big time. Can't. I can't. I mean, if I take here, I get messed up because this is a discovery. So glad I found this. And then queen c5 is the best move. That's good. I'm finding a lot of the best moves. I think, like I said, I was calculating queen takes, but the problem is queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, knight takes, right? 
It takes you six. Yep. And then it takes takes and I'm a pawn down. And the rook is now penetrated. Very bad position. So positionally that would be bad. I played h6. That's cool. Uh looks like instead. What? Oh, Queen C7. Okay. That makes some sense. Queen C7 just guards the e5 square, so it stops e5 and maybe allows me to play knight e5 at some point. Uh, that would have been better. I almost got into trouble with my queen, but then, yeah, this was just not a good move. It just dropped a pawn. Yeah, this got me into trouble. I was like, oh, wait, if you can attack that knight, then I'm losing a piece. I messed up, but at this point, we got into time trouble. I knew I had to blitz out moves and just went on time. Uh, but what was the best move here? Bishop d1. What? No, knight. Oh, knight gd5. Yeah, that that looks better. That looks better. It looks almost kind of scary, right? But like, there's there's nothing here. You can't even double the rooks. There's no pressure. This rook here. This bishop. If this bishop were open, then I'd be like. Oh, it's kind of scary, but uh, anyways, the rest of the game doesn't matter. I was making terrible moves, but it doesn't matter because it's just, you got to win on time at this point. You got to know when to just play fast. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. I feel free to like and subscribe if you're watching on Twitch. Very cool. If you're watching on YouTube. Like and subscribe, check out the Discord channel, um, and I will see you guys in the next video.